I am ready. Are you ready? Let's get you booked. Let's get us booked, y'all. I feel like in this outfit, I'm, I'm like about to go and bungee jump off some cliff. What's up guys and welcome to another tacking today. So since Destination Awaken is all about wellness travel, all about being limitless, all about unlocking that true capability of power within you, I thought it would only be fitting to start to do some travel tappings. In this tapping and the coming tappings, we're going to drop into a lot of travel tapping. And I wanted to start our travel series tapping today with releasing the fear of travel. I meet so many people on throughout my travels and when I share my stories with them, you know, I share my, my stories of solo travel. I've been to Dubai, I've been to Europe by myself, and I lived in Mexico for four months. You know, I've gone to Australia, well I'm from Australia, but I've traveled Australia, I've traveled the US, I've traveled Canada, I've traveled here, I've traveled there. And there's a lot of the world that I still haven't seen. However, when I meet people on my adventures, the first thing that they always ask me, well, weren't you scared? And especially when I tell people that I went and lived in Mexico for four months, and that I went to Europe by myself for a few months, and that I went to Dubai by myself, the biggest question I always get is, weren't you scared? And then they usually follow it up by saying, I would love to do trips like that, but I'm just too scared to. What I've really realized is, throughout all my different travels, and as I'm meeting different people, I'm realizing how many people actually want to get out there and travel, but they have this fear deep inside them of what if this happens or what if that happens or that destination is not safe to go to or I can't go there by myself and so they're constantly waiting and waiting for their group of friends to be ready to go to these destinations but newsflash half the time your friends are not going to be ready to go to these destinations or they've got other things going on in their life they're not ready to book the trip or they're not ready to get their passport or whatever the case may be you have to live life without waiting on other people. Life will pass you by. So it is crucial that you get out there and if you wanna go and see a destination, go and see it. And also here's the other thing, even if you book the flight by yourself, there are a million group trips. There are like a million retreats you can go to. There are a million group activities, group day tours that you can do. Going somewhere solo travel and being by yourself the entire time, it does not have to be like that. Now, I personally think it's wonderful to do it like that because it's so peaceful. And then you can just go and do like a day trip with a group here and there. But that's also a great way to meet friends. It's like when you're at a destination, book a day trip. Like when I was in Tulum, at one point, I actually did a day trip where it was like a group of strangers. Um, so I'm just pulling up to a pickup spot right now and I'll keep you guys posted, all right? Like a group of strangers and we went horseback riding. Okay, so we're here. Hola. Hola. Uh, this is Mujeres Panidosa. Me and Miss Panidosa, we're gonna be riding together. Nico. Oh, this is so fun. Muchas gracias. Go, 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 go. Woo, woo, woo. Let's truck. Truck, truck, truck. Woo! Nelly, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> horseback riding and zip lining and ATV ride. Trailing, let's ride! a traditional Mexican lunch and it was like 15 of us and none of us knew each other like most of us didn't speak Spanish and the tour guides of course they were completely fluent in Spanish and English but the point of all of this to say is travel is what you make it like if you want to take a seven day ten day three month trip by yourself and you want to really introspect and reflect and go on a deep deep level and not really see or meet anyone new if you want to go to a destination by yourself, you just want to go and jet off and, ex and experience destination and then make some friends along the way in some different group activities, 
we have a million options a million options, a million opportunities, a million ways to experience the world in the way that we want to. That I've realized, I've met so many people that they want to experience the world. They want to go and travel, but they're too scared to. They have this fear of what if something happens. And I do have to give a disclosure of like, things can happen anywhere you go. You know what I mean? And there's obviously travel announcements and travel alerts. Of course, there are destinations that are very, very safe that maybe you know they are a little bit more risky but what's your adventure level what is your adventure craving and what is life without taking a risk you know so that is my disclaimer you travel at your own will and there are different challenges at different destinations but in my opinion is that's what makes travel the spice of life and the other thing reason that I'm so passionate about helping people release this fear of travel and get on that plane book that ticket and go is because there's a wasp is because is because I know how transformative travel is I've traveled so many places I've just done it on a whim and it's like yes some of it's been very challenging some of it's been very absolutely you know mind-blowingly incredible the whole the whole of it has been mind-blowingly incredible some of it's been easy some of it's been challenging regardless of what type of experience that I've had at each destination it has significantly helped me evolve in such a significant way like travel will change your life it expands your mind it changes the way you see the world it also makes you a lot more resilient it also helps you appreciate things a lot more it makes you appreciate your home country a lot more it makes you be extremely grateful for having the opportunity to go and explore and see other cultures and it helps you to really become a lot more open-minded and a lot more it gives you a much stronger ability to embrace other people's viewpoints and cultures and just see how beautiful every culture in the world is and a lot of cultures do things very differently than what maybe you're used to at, in your homeland but you can always go to these different destinations embrace the culture of the destination that you're at learn the language learn a few words in the language that goes so far when you're in a destination and if you just try and speak a couple of words in the language the people of that land they're seeing oh they're actually coming here to really embrace our culture and to see what we're all about and you will get treatment like you will never believe if you just learn a couple of words and you're putting in that effort and you're tasting the local food and you're, you're you learn a little bit of the language and you speak a little bit of english and a little bit of this and a little bit of that like the, the local people they love that so so much and so then you can also bring a little bit of their culture back to your homeland go to a cooking class at the destination learn what their staple ingredients are get out there and see the world because it will change your life so that's how like the power of travel is so transformative to you i could actually almost cry because it's so powerfully changing and you yes i'm sure you can live a great life if you sit if you sit at your house and twiddle your thumbs maybe that's enjoyable but my my take on life is life is to be lived and get out there get out there and experience the world because there is nothing that compares to traveling there is no type of transformation that will transform you in such a well-rounded manner the way that travel does so all of that to say if you've been wanting to book a ticket this is your sign if you have a bucket list destination to go and explore this is your sign to book that ticket and go and go and go and go of course always make sure you have your passport if you're going international always make sure you check the visa requirements but there's a lot of countries that you don't even need a visa to get into do your research do your due diligence by the way if you have questions about visas and things drop them in the comments below i do know a thing or two about hopping from different countries there is a strategy that i have that'll basically get you around different parts of Europe and Africa for nine months without a visa, okay? Just saying, drop your questions in the comments below. I just wanted to share that take on things because travel is really not scary. To me, honestly, travel is the opposite. It is life-changing. I can't imagine an existence where I don't travel. And it's also kind of addictive. 
anyway, all of that to say, like, I've met so many people on my travels and I get this question all the time, especially talking about female solo travel. Well, weren't you scared? And then the follow-up is, gosh, I'd love to do something like that, but I'm just scared. So we're gonna tap about that. So that's what today's tapping is all about. It is all about releasing the fear of travel, embracing the adventure, and just booking that trip. Booking your bucket list trip, booking a trip to the destination of your dreams, and just going for it. Pack your suitcases and let's get you booked. All right, take a deep breath in. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth and let's jump into it. All this fear that I have of travel, I choose to let it go. Even though I feel anxiety about traveling, I deeply and completely love myself, accept myself, honor myself, and forgive myself too. Because I do wanna see the world around me. And I do have some bucket list destinations on my list. I do have an abundance of dream travel experiences. And I have a list of countries that I want to explore. But there is a part inside me, there is a version of myself there is a story in my head that frightens me about going to a new country, that scares me, that makes me think, well, what if I get there and something happens? Or what if I get lost in a foreign destination? Or what if I don't understand the language? Or what if, what if, what if? And there are all these fears that I have about travel, mostly between my ears. A lot of them are not even based off of evidence, but it's just more so a fear of the unknown. So even though I've been scared to travel, I've been terrified to step outside my comfort zone. I deeply and completely love myself, accept myself, and forgive myself too. And I choose to release this fear. I choose to face my fear of travel. And I choose to say, why not? Because what is really holding me back? Where is this fear really stemming from? Maybe when I think of booking my trip, I start to get a tightness in my chest. Maybe when I think of booking travel or traveling to a different country, I start to feel a knot in my gut. And so today I choose to release these fears. And I choose to step into a timeline where travel is no longer scary to me, but it is exciting. Because when I travel the world and I book that ticket, I am allowing myself to really grow. I am growing my life experiences. I am broadening my horizon. I am opening myself to abundance. I am opening myself to making powerful new connections. And I am expanding my life experience. So yes, it might feel scary. Or yes, I might be scared that I'm not going to understand the language. Or yes, I could be scared based on what I've maybe seen on the news. So today I choose to stop watching the news and I choose to make the news instead. 
I choose to make my own news. And my news is that my life is now becoming a wildly fantastic adventure. And sure, I might have anxiety when I get on the plane, but a little bit of anxiety just means you're excited. And I'm not talking about the, debil the debilitating anxiety that paralyzes you, or the extreme severe fight at or flight mode. I'm talking about that little rush of enthusiasm, that little rush of what's on the other side, that little rush that comes into stepping into the unknown. Now, if I do have debilitating anxiety about travel, if I do feel extreme fear when it comes to getting on a plane, I choose to know that that is my body simply trying to keep me safe. If I have had a bad experience on a plane flight before, today I choose to make peace with that. If I've had an uncomfortable or scary experience with travel before, of course my body is going to feel that fear now. And so if that is where my fear is stemming from, today I choose to let that go. I am actually grateful to my body for feeling that fear because it's my body trying to keep me safe. But any type of anxiety that my body is still hanging on to, it is safe for me to now let that go. I am releasing my fear of flying on a deep subconscious level. I am releasing my fear of travel going wrong all the way back through my past. Releasing any resistance to let this fear go and clearing this resistance on a deep cellular level. Releasing any fear of exploration, clearing it from every fiber of my being and allowing myself to know that I can now create a magnificently joyous travel experience of my dreams. Clearing any fear of travel, I deeply and completely accept myself, forgive myself, love myself, and honor myself too. And it's totally normal to have this fear because you're leaping onto the other side. You're leaping onto into the fear of the unknown. Because a new destination can bring anything into your reality. But instead of focusing on negative what ifs, I choose to reignite my deep sense of adventure. I allow myself to live a life that is thrilling. And I allow myself to travel. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, let it go. And th this is a pretty deep tapping. So you might even want to just shake yourself, shake yourself, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Shake it out. <laughs> okay, all right. So now let's get hyped up about our travel. Let's get hyped up about our travel. And now let's also unlock our vision for where we want to explore. Okay, let's go. Take it from the top, y'all. Today I choose to travel. Today, I am unlocking the life of my dreams. I release any resistance to do so. And today, I choose to book the ticket. I am allowing my vision to become really expansive. If there's somewhere I want to go, 
Today I choose to book that. Today I choose to live my bucket list. And if I don't have a bucket list yet, then I allow myself to make one. I release any fear of travel and I clear the fear of the unknown. I release the fear of taking the leap and I release the fear of getting on the plane. Now, there can be a number of reasons why I'm scared to travel. Maybe I wonder how I'll pay for it. Maybe I wonder what, what could go wrong. Maybe I wonder, will it be as grand when I get there? Or maybe I just wonder, but where will I go? Well, I choose to know and realize that all of those questions or fears, they all have a solution. Some are logical fears and some are more based on emotion. So if it's a more simple fear, like where will I go? I don't know where to go. What will I do when I get there? I allow myself to get really confident and I allow myself to let my mind run wild. Today, I will pick up a travel catalog or I will pick up a magazine or go online and I'll flick through the pages and I will see what excites me. I will see what travel destination delights me. I choose to be open to traveling and exploring. And I choose to release any fear of doing this. And then if it's a more emotional based fear, such as, well, how will I pay for my trip? Then today I choose to start receiving solutions. I am open to receiving money for my travel. I am open to new ideas and opportunities. I am open to receiving surprise financial blessings that will fund and pay for my trip. I choose to be a magnet to money. And I choose to know that it is safe for me to spend money on a vacation. It is safe for me to splash some cash and take the trip to the destination of my dreams. And I am worthy of spending money on a dream bucket list vacation because money is to be spent, money is to be used. There's always more money in the world and life is to be lived and experienced. So today I choose to open myself to new sources and levels of income. Money comes to me easily and effortlessly and I choose to receive the money that will pay for my dream trip. I choose to feel good about investing money on the travel trip of my dreams. And so any fear of spending money on travel, today I choose to let that go. I choose to be a magnet to miracles and I choose to be a magnet to dream travel destinations. I choose to be a magnet to blessings and abundance. And I will remember to remain aligned to the frequency of abundance. And if there's any part of me that isn't aligned with this, today I choose to let that go. I choose to know that travel is always available to me. I choose to know that resources for travel can show up for me at any time. And change is always possible sooner 
sooner rather than later. And so any remaining fear that I have of travel, I am telling my subconscious mind that it is safe to let it go. If I am fearful of going to a new destination because I'm thinking, what if something happens there? I choose to be at peace with stepping into the unknown because life is to be lived. And so any fear of traveling to a new destination, I choose to release that on a deep subconscious level because I am worthy of seeing the world and I want to fulfill this desire to explore. So I choose to know that I am always safe and protected. I am willing myself to have an amazing travel experience no matter where I go. And I choose to be a magnet to blessings on my travel. I choose to be a magnet to incredible travel experiences. And I choose to be a magnet to great things happening at my destination because I am a powerful creator. So if I have a deep fear of going to a new destination that I really want to explore, today I will actually script it out what I want to happen when I'm there. And rather than focusing on negative what if, Today, I choose to focus on how good it can get. Today, I choose to focus on how wonderful and exciting of an experience it can be. And today also, I choose to know and remind myself that I am more than capable and that I also will make sure that I take any necessary safety precautions. I will stay alert when I am in new destinations. I will make sure that I familiarize myself with local traditions and customs. I will make sure that I will do my, do my due diligence to keep myself safe and protected. But any fear or overthinking, today I choose to let that go. Today, I choose to clear that out and I'm releasing any resistance to stepping into peace because at the end of the day, life is to be lived. And if we stay stuck in a vibration of fear, we will never get outside the house. We'll never go outside our front door and we'll certainly never get to a foreign destination abroad or overseas. So I'm releasing that fear and I choose to feel good. I choose to feel excited and I choose to feel delighted. So now I'm stepping into my vision. Maybe I want to go and see the Eiffel Tower. Maybe I want to see the pyramids in Egypt. Maybe I want to take a helicopter ride over Antarctica. Maybe I want to go salmon fishing on a yacht in Alaska. Maybe I want to hike Mount Kilimanjaro. Maybe I want to go to the vortex in Peru at Machu Picchu. Maybe I want to go and play with the llamas and alpacas in Machu Picchu. Maybe I want to go and learn how to surf in Costa Rica. Maybe I want to take a hot air balloon over Sedona, Arizona. Maybe I want to go to the tallest point in South Africa and bungee jump for a real adrenaline rush. Maybe I want to go snowboarding. Maybe I want to go and party in the French Alps. Maybe I want to go to Switzerland and learn to ski. Maybe I want to ride a camel through Morocco. Maybe I want to go horseback riding. Maybe I want to go and swim with the dolphins in Hawaii. 
maybe I want to go and do a turtle rescue mission in Costa Rica. Maybe I want to go and swim with the pink dolphins in the Amazon. Or maybe I just want to go and drink coffee at a cafe in Paris. Maybe I want to go and sit by the beach in Florida. Maybe I want to go and surf in Australia. Maybe I want to ride a camel through the outback of Australia and then go and stargaze in the Chilean desert. Maybe I want to take a yacht charter to Antarctica. Maybe I want to do the polar plunge when I'm in Antarctica. Maybe I want to go to Alaska and ride sled dogs with the Eskimos. Or maybe I want to go to the Arctic Circle and look for polar bears. Maybe I want to go to Norway and see the Northern Lights. Or maybe I just want to book a one-way ticket to a surprise destination and let the universe take me where it takes me. Whatever my vision for travel is, it is possible, it is safe, it is achievable, and I am worthy of it. I am worthy of the travel of my dreams. I am worthy of checking off my bucket list, and I am worthy of exploring my dream destinations around planet Earth. So today I have decided that I will book the ticket. I will get all of my affairs in order. If I don't have my passport, I choose to get that now. If I don't have the visa that I need, I choose to apply and get that now. And most importantly, I choose to commit to making travel a priority and to going to the destinations of my dreams. It is safe for me to travel. I am releasing any resistance to travel and I choose to book the ticket now. I am worthy of travel. I am deserving of travel. And I choose to travel today. And I choose to receive the most miraculous travel trip that I have ever dreamed of. And so it is. Whew, okay, take a deep breath in through the nose, my friends. Exhale through the mouth, let it go. My goodness, my gracious. I'm ready to go book a trip right now. I'm ready to book that ticket. <laughs> um, I am ready. Are you ready? Let's get you booked. Let's get us booked, y'all. I feel like in this outfit, I'm, I'm like about to go and bungee jump off some cliff. Yes. All right, guys. So listen, most of us watching this have the world's most powerful passport. So like there is literally nothing holding us back. If you don't have your passport yet and you are watching this, get your passport get your passport i always say your passport is your ticket to paradise and i am a world traveler i think i've been to 20 countries so far so i've got a lot left on my list but i've also traveled enough where i can really help you to plan your trip book your trip get excited about your trip get juicy loosey goosey about that trip and fun fact i also book travel trips i can get you perks upgrades amazing amenities red carpet vip service showtime experiences at a wide range and collection of hotels and resorts all around the world so if you want to travel if you are ready to book that ticket drop your comment below drop yes i am ready to travel drop that in the comments and let's get you booked my friends even if you just have other questions about travel i'm so 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 passionate about traveling the world if you're like i want to go here but i don't know what there is to do let's talk about it i can help you plan itineraries i can help you plan your resorts i can help you get 
booked and get out there and start exploring the world to be the world travelers that we are all destined to be. We are Dora the Explorer times 10. All right, my friends, so on that note, stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you are keeping an eye out because we are about to do a lot of travel tappings and they're gonna be fun. Travel is such a lifting topic. Let's get you booked. Let's get flying. Let's get jetting. Let's get sailing. Let's get exploring and let's travel. All right, my friends, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.